A new milestone for representation in film. A pioneering group of Idaho artists is set to debut a new movie aimed at bridging the gap for actors with disabilities. It's a story our Anna Silver has been following for you over the last year. She joins us now live in studio to share a behind the scenes sneak peek at the nearly finished film. Right, I've done several stories with these folks, so it's exciting to see. And the writer says Making Sense is unique because it's the first feature film to have actors with disabilities play characters in a film who also have disabilities. Making Sense explores the realities of living life with disabilities through the lens of five different characters. The executive producer and writer says the film has been a labor of love. A friend of mine was paralyzed about 10 years ago gave me the idea for the story because he said, look, I used to look away when I saw somebody with a disability and then overnight I became that person. I became less of a human being and I thought to myself, there's a story there. This was Michael Barnett's first time acting in a film. Being uh, mm -hmm. legally blind, having no center uh, vision at all, um, I use adaptive go uh, glasses to kind of help me uh, learn the lines so I didn't have the, the luxury of uh, having somebody, you know, having the lines with me and saying, hey, I know the lines now. So they would have to read them back to me if I forgot a line. One of the actresses says the story really resonates with her. I have a niece that has Down syndrome and I've always had different friends that don't either have sight or can't hear. And um, I, this world is full, full of people of, of different diversity. And I love that this movie brings an awareness to that. And being a part of something like that, being my first feature film, being such a big s story, of what it's trying to bring to the world is so such a big deal to me. The feature film is setting the stage for more to come. It's awesome. Yeah. <laughs> well, the team is still putting the final touches actually on uh, the film, but of course they will be showing the work in progress version at the film festival. That's awesome. Yeah. And a lot of people will be there, but if people can't make it all the way to Sun Valley, how can they still catch yeah. it is there a way yet so they're still working on it they hope to get into other festivals across the country and then they hope to make it onto a streaming service so we'll keep you posted all right thank you anna